good morning students welcome to 11th standard chemistry video class we are discussing lesson 10 chemical bonding in our last video class we completed the topic hybridization in this video we have to start with the next topic molecular orbital theory molecular orbital theory chemical bonding and molecular structure was explained by Levy's concept and valence bond theory. But some of the observed properties of molecules was not explained by Levy's concept and valence bond theory. For example, according to Levy's concept and valence bond theory, oxygen is diamagnetic. But it was observed that oxygen is paramagnetic. Since oxygen in liquid form was attracted towards the poles of strong magnet. Hence, this Lewis concept and valence bond theory explains the bond formation in terms of electron pairs. But they are failed to explain the bonding nature of paramagnetic molecules. For that, the two scientists namely Hund and Robert S. Mulliken developed a new bonding theory called molecular orbital theory. This molecular orbital theory explains the magnetic behavior of molecules. Now, let me discuss the salient features of molecular orbital theory. It contains five points. Let me discuss one by one. It is an important Detailed question. First point. When atoms combines to form molecules, their individual atomic orbitals lose their identity and forms new orbitals called molecular orbitals. Here, atoms combines together to form molecules. Similarly, atomic orbitals combines together to form molecular orbitals. The combining atomic orbitals loses their identity and form a new orbital called molecular orbital. Second point. The shapes of molecular orbitals depend upon the shapes of combining atomic orbitals. Here, the shapes of combining atomic orbitals gives the shapes of molecular orbitals. Third point, the number of molecular orbitals formed is the same as the number of combining atomic orbitals. Half the number of molecular orbitals formed will have lower energy than the corresponding atomic orbital, while the remaining molecular orbitals will have higher energy. The molecular orbital with lower energy is called bonding molecular orbital and the one with higher energy is called antibonding molecular orbital. The bonding molecular orbitals are represented as sigma pi delta and the corresponding antibonding orbitals are denoted as sigma star pi star delta star. Here, the number of molecular orbitals formed is equal to number of atomic orbitals undergoes combination. If two atomic orbitals undergoes combination, two molecular orbitals are formed, in which one molecular orbital with lower energy and another molecular orbital with higher energy. The molecular orbital with lower energy is said to be bonding molecular orbital the molecular orbital with higher energy is said to be antibonding molecular orbital the bonding molecular orbitals are denoted as sigma pi delta where antibonding molecular orbitals are denoted as sigma star pi star delta star fourth point the electron in a molecule are accommodated in the newly formed molecular orbitals. The filling of electron 
in these orbitals follows our principle Pauli's exclusion principle and Hund's rule as in the case of filling of electrons in atomic orbitals. The electrons in a molecule are filled in newly formed molecular orbitals. The electrons are filled in the molecular orbitals on the basis of Auber principle, Pauli's exclusion principle and Hund's rule. Fifth point. Bond order gives the number of covalent bonds between the two combining atoms. The bond order of a molecule can be calculated using the following equation. Bond order is equal to Nb minus Na divided by 2. Where Nb equal to total number of electrons present in bonding molecular orbitals. Where Na equal to total number of electrons present in the antibonding molecular orbitals. Here the number of bonds formed between the two combining atoms was given by bond order. If bond order equal to 1, it shows a single bond is formed between combining two atoms. If bond order equal to 2, it shows a double bond is formed between combining two atoms. If bond order equal to 3, it shows a triple bond is formed between combining two atoms. The bond order of a molecule can be calculated by using the formula Nb minus Na divided by 2, where Nb equal to total number of electrons present in bonding molecular orbitals, where Na equal to total number of electrons present in the antibonding molecular orbitals. If the bond order value is equal to 0, it shows that type of molecule does not exist or otherwise that type of molecule should not be formed. Hence, we completed the salient features of molecular orbital theory. It is an important question. If they ask, explain molecular orbital theory, you have to give all the 5 points. Next topic, Linear Combination of Atomic Orbitals By solving Schrodinger wave equation for the molecule, the wave function for the molecular orbitals can be obtained. But solving Schrodinger wave equation is difficult one. Hence, only approximation methods are used to obtain the wave function for molecular orbitals. The most common method is the linear combination of atomic orbitals. Here, atomic orbitals are represented by the wave function psi. Consider two atomic orbitals namely A and B. The wave function for the two atomic orbitals are psi A and psi B. They have comparable energy. Hence, this psi A and psi B combines together to form two molecular orbital. One is bonding molecular orbital which is denoted as psi bonding. The another one is antibonding molecular orbital which is denoted as psi antibonding. The wave function for these two molecular orbitals can be obtained by the linear combination of the atomic orbitals psi A and psi B which is shown here. Psi bonding is equal to psi A plus psi B where psi antibonding is equal to psi A minus psi B. Here the formation of bonding molecular orbital can be considered as the result of constructive interference of atomic orbitals where the formation of antibonding molecular orbitals can be considered as a result of destructive interference of the atomic orbitals. The following pictures shows the formation of the two molecular orbitals from two oneness orbitals. 
constructive interference. It shows the formation of bonding molecular orbital. Here the two oneness orbitals are in phase and have the same sign. It forms a sigma bonding molecular orbital. Next one destructive interference. It shows the formation of antibonding molecular orbital. Here the two oneness orbitals are not in phase. They are out of phase and have opposite sign. It forms a sigma star antibonding molecular orbital. The linear combination of atomic orbitals are shown here. Next, let me discuss bonding in some homonuclear diatomic molecules. It is explained on the basis of molecular orbital diagram. First, let me discuss formation of hydrogen molecule using molecular orbital diagram. This shows the molecular orbital diagram for hydrogen molecule. Whenever two hydrogen atoms combine together, they form hydrogen molecule. Similarly, Atomic orbital of one hydrogen atom combines with atomic orbital of another hydrogen atom to form molecular orbital of hydrogen molecule. It is shown here. In this diagram, the left side and the right side, we are having atomic orbitals of hydrogen atom. Between these two atomic orbitals, we are having molecular orbital of hydrogen molecule. Here hydrogen atom with atomic number 1. Hence the electronic configuration of hydrogen is 1s1 that is 1s orbital with 1 electron. Here we have to place 1s orbital in the left side and right side. Place the 1 electron in 1s orbital of two hydrogen atomic orbitals. As per the molecular orbital theory, two oneness orbitals combines together to form two molecular orbitals, one with lower energy and another with higher energy. The molecular orbital with lower energy is called bonding molecular orbital. It is denoted as sigma oneness orbital. It is present at the bottom where the molecular orbital with higher energy is called antibonding molecular orbital. It is denoted as sigma star 1s orbital. It is present at the top. Now we have to fill the electrons in the molecular orbital. Totally we are having two electrons. These two electrons are placed in sigma 1s orbital. Hence, sigma 1s orbital with two electrons. Sigma 1s is bonding molecular orbital with two electrons. That is Nb equal to 2. Sigma star 1s is antibonding molecular orbital. There is no electrons. That is Na equal to 0. From the molecular orbital diagram, the electronic configuration of hydrogen molecule is sigma 1s2, that is sigma 1s orbital with two electrons. Bond order is calculated from the molecular orbital diagram using the formula Nb minus Na divided by 2. Here, Nb equal to 2, Na equal to 0. Substitute the values in the formula. We will get 2 minus 0 divided by 2, which is equal to 1. Hence, the bond order value for hydrogen molecule is 1. Hence, it shows a single bond is formed between two hydrogen atoms. This hydrogen molecule has 
no unpaired electrons. Hence, it is diamagnetic. Hence, we completed the formation of hydrogen molecule using molecular orbital diagram. Next topic, formation of lithium molecule using molecular orbital diagram. This shows the molecular orbital diagram for lithium molecule. Whenever two lithium atoms combines together, they forms lithium molecule. Similarly, atomic orbitals of one lithium atom combines with atomic orbital of another lithium atom to form molecular orbital of lithium molecule. It is shown here. In this diagram, the left side and the right side, we are having atomic orbitals of lithium atom. Between these two atomic orbitals, we are having molecular orbital of lithium molecule. Here, lithium atom with atomic number 3. Hence, the electronic configuration of lithium is 1s2, 2s1. That is, 1s orbital with 2 electrons and 2s orbital with 1 electron. In this molecular orbital diagram, we have to consider only the valential electronic configuration of lithium. That is 2s orbital with 1 electron. Here, we have to place 2s orbital in left side and right side. Place the 1 electron in 2s orbital of 2 lithium atomic orbitals. As per the molecular orbital theory, two 2s orbitals combines together to form two molecular orbitals, one with lower energy and another with higher energy. The molecular orbital with lower energy is called bonding molecular orbital. It is denoted as sigma 2s orbital. It is present at the bottom. Where the molecular orbital with higher energy is called antibonding molecular orbital. It is denoted as sigma star 2s orbital. It is present at the top. Now, we have to fill the electrons in the molecular orbital. Totally, we are having two electrons. These two electrons are placed in sigma 2s orbital. Hence, sigma 2s orbital with two electrons. Sigma 2s orbital is bonding molecular orbital with two electrons, where sigma star 2s orbital is anti-bonding molecular orbital, there is no electrons. From the molecular orbital diagram, the electronic configuration of lithium molecule is sigma 1s2, sigma star 1s2, sigma 2s2. In the molecular orbital diagram, we used only 2s orbital with 1 electron. We are not using 1s orbital with 2 electrons. Here, these two 1s orbitals combines together to form two molecular orbitals namely sigma 1s orbital and sigma star 1s orbital. Hence, the electronic configuration of lithium molecule is sigma 1s orbital with 2 electron, sigma star 1s orbital with 2 electron, sigma 2s orbital with 2 electron. Next, we have to find the bond order value for lithium molecule. It is calculated using the formula Nb minus Na divided by 2. Here, Nb equal to 4, Na equal to 2. It should be substituted in the formula. Therefore, 4 minus 2 divided by 2 which is equal to 2 divided by 2 which is equal to 1. Hence, bond order value for lithium molecule is 1. Hence, it shows a single bond is formed between two lithium atoms. This lithium molecule 
has no unpaired electrons hence it is diamagnetic hence we completed the formation of lithium molecule using molecular orbital diagram let me stop up to this topic the remaining topics that we will discuss in our next video class thank you